As far as time travel goes, it's all pretty fascinating, and there have been a few who have came forward claiming to have been part of government projects that tried to invent time travel. Of course, most of us think of it as a fiction or a great story for a movie script at best, but there are just a few rogue slips within this information that have slipped through. Wait till you hear this. Back in 2003, a man who went by the name of Andrew Carlson was arrested in New York City for making exactly 126 high-risk stock trades and every single one of them paid off. Carlson made $400 million within two weeks and naturally suspicion was aroused. He started making these stock trades with as little as $8 and authorities claim that every trade he made capitalized on unexpected business developments which the FBI and the Security and Exchange Commission claim cannot be coincidence or luck. The odds are astronomical. When investigators arrested Carlson in for questioning, they got more than they bargained for, a mind-boggling four-hour confession. Sources at the Security and Exchange Commission confirm that 44-year-old Andrew Carlson offered the bizarre explanation for his uncanny success in the stock market after being led off in handcuffs. In a bid for leniency, Andrew Carlson reportedly offered to divulge historical facts such as the whereabouts of Osama bin Laden and a cure for AIDS. Carlson declared that he had traveled back in time from over 200 years in the future when it is common knowledge that our era experienced one of the worst stock plunges in history, yet anyone armed with knowledge of the handful of stocks destined to go through the roof could make a fortune. Andrew said he had planned to make it look natural, lose a little here and there so it doesn't look too perfect, but he just got caught in the moment. Officials are quite confident the time travelers claims are bogus. Yet the SEC source admits no one can find any record of any Andrew Carlson existing anywhere before December 2002. And get this, when a police officer brought him food one morning, he was not in the cell. He vanished, as if off the face of the earth and has never been seen again. The case is not closed, it simply remains a mystery. Maybe it was John Teeter under a different name. Who knows? Comments below. Thanks for watching.